Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to look at the third in a series of seven Mexican lagers. And this is the third one from, and final one, from Grupo Modelo, uh, which is a very large beer company in Mexico. Their main brands are Corona, uh, Modelo, and Pacifico. And if you are interested in more, hearing more about Grupo Modelo, uh, you can go to the review for uh, Corona Extra and listen to the intro there. I won't repeat the information. Uh, this beer is called uh, Modelo Negra or Negra Modelo. And the company calls it Modelo Negra. On the label, it is Negra Modelo. And I think this is what most people tend to call it. And uh, this is a dark lager. Uh, international premium and it is 5.4 percent beer 16 international bittering units and uh, on rate beer this one has 2,884 ratings an average score of 2.79 uh, 14 percentile for all beers on rate beer and uh, 38 percentile for its style which is dark lager um, on Untapped, this has 233,249 ratings, an average score of 3.29, quite a bit higher than the uh, rate beer scores. This is the, uh, when I go to a Mexican restaurant, uh, if this is on the menu, this is generally what I tend to order. Uh, it uh, is much more satisfying than the very clear pale lagers. Uh, uh, like a Corona or Modelo Especial, uh, or even Dos Equis, I find. Um, so, should we give this one a go? I've had this before several times. And este es el número tres among los siete that we are going to be reviewing. Okay, these beers always have foil, foil around the top. like a cheap candy okay so this is a nice pretty dark reddish tinged sort of brown uh, with a finger of uh, creamy kind of off-white head okay some kind of sticky laciness put it through the light see what we get And see the slight carbonation rising. Head is diminishing. Okay, the aroma is kind of sweetish, sweet-ish, light caramel. Yeah, a touch of burnt sugar or something like that. We're getting some citrus here. Citrus spritziness. I'm maybe not. Interesting. Okay. And flavor. Mild caramel. Balances a bit in mid-palate, but remains rather sweet. Some cardboardiness to this, too. Yeah, as in most of these beers. Uh, wet paper kind of touch. And the finish is light. And sweet. It does not disappear like the pale lagers that we had before. Uh, interesting beer. Uh, yeah. Um, so as I said, this is uh, the, my beer of choice if I'm in a Mexican restaurant, but not anywhere else at all. Uh, yeah. So I would not normally buy this beer unless I was in a Mexican restaurant, uh, for sure. Um, so. Uh, and this beer, like the uh, Modelo Especial, has this uh, very unusual shape to it, uh, kind of, I don't know what I'd describe it as, as a woman in a very wide skirt uh, or something like that, uh, but uh, most bottles do not have this shape at all. And anyway, so that's enough for today. Uh, Negro Modelo, a 
dark lager from Grupo Modelo in Mexico uh, and give it a try. And please subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think uh, about Mexican lagers if you've had them. Um, uh, the, what is the one, Sublime by Alesmith. Uh, so they tried a Mexican lager and named it after the, the band, Sublime. Um, and I think it's probably a little bit better than most of these that we're looking at. But in any case, uh, coming up next, we'll be looking at four beers uh, from uh, FEMSA Cuauhtémoc Moctezuma Brewery, uh, another large brewery in Mexico. So take care. Hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.